Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a quick look at my notes on 2021 NHL Draft top prospect Zachary Bolduc from October 2nd. In a 4-0 defeat against Victoriaville, Bolduc finished the game with 0 points, a minus 2 and 3 shots on goal. Bolduc gets ice time on the PK early on and he starts his shift strong with some nice stick work surprise the attacker cutting back and clear the zone quickly. On the PK once again, he shows sound and movement to put a bit of pressure on the puck carrier and get his stick in lanes without totally getting out of position. Once Victoriaville enters the zone, he takes note of his surrounding to establish his opponent's positioning and stick poised to cut otherwise dangerous passes. Throughout the puck movement, Bolduc displays good positioning to get into shooting lanes and passing lanes, disturbing a bit Victoriaville's work. If it's totally reasonable to apply pressure on the puck carrier here, I would like to see him get back to his spot a bit quicker. He leaves a prime shooting threat alone in this slot, which could have been easily avoided with a few quick strides. Again, he could show a bit more quickness in his movement, but he still manages to block the shot. After successfully killing the penalty, it's now his time to get on the power play. But Zuck shows great poise throughout the sequence. Even when facing pressure, he keeps his head up to analyze his options. Once he gets the puck back, you can see him dissect the play and with nothing developing, instead of forcing a pass to a higher danger area, he calmly gets the disc to the point. Here, Rimouski are benefiting from a 5v3 advantage. It was quickly evident that Bolduc would capitalize on moving around the zone to force defensive adjustments and get open. He communicates with his partner telling him to move back as he gets to the low circle. Once he gets the puck, he still slowly moves around in what could be compared to a basketball pick and roll. He takes advantage of the few feet of separation he's got on his new defender and hits the post, a few centimeters from this play being a magnificent goal. On the same 5v3, Bolduc once again skates around the defensive triangle to find a shooting lane. Although not very powerful, the shot is still a dangerous one, with traffic in front and a rebound opportunity to his teammate. Bolduc sees his puck poked away in the offensive zone, and although a bit slow to react, he realizes the unman rush opportunity and showcases tremendous compete to get on the back check and eventually cut the pass at the other end. Bolduc is clearly tired from a long defensive shift here, which could excuse him from this mistake. But anyway, Instead of putting pressure on the defenseman and meeting him higher, he prefers to quickly drop on the ice, which leaves time and space for a decent shot. Victoriaville capitalizes right after. On this sequence, with the counter-attack quickly developing, Bolduc has the responsibility to cover the attacker right beside him. He's a bit slow to react, getting caught watching the puck, which puts him out of range and allows the attacker to make a beautiful assist. Other players committed mistakes too, but I would still like to see him a bit quicker off his feet. On this action, he displays great compete to close quickly the gap with the rushing attacker and separate him from the puck along the board. His nice back check allowed for the defensive recovery. Bolduc gets denied on this offensive position, but immediately turns the Jets to back check. He communicates with his defender to get the correct coverage applies pressure and even recovers the disc. On the power play, Bolduc showcases a great puck protection to shield his disc from the relentless poke checks. He opens the play nicely with simple passes and constantly moves around the box. As he receives the puck down low, Bolduc shows great patience to wait for the passing lane to open up. On this zone breakout, Bolduc shows his acceleration and top speed without the puck, which are both average. I'm no skating expert, but his stride seems decent, just a lack of explosion and power. Late in the second period, Bolduc makes an excellent pin down on the attacker in the corner to separate his opponent from the puck effectively, leading to what was supposed to be a recovery. Early on the third period, Bolduc looks to start the breakout for his team. He senses the pressure coming from his right and quickly backs off showing poise and quickness to make the right decision and not force a play. On this smooth zone entry, Bolduc extends his stick nicely to dodge the defender's poke check. He makes a bit of a premeditated play trying a pass to the point while his defenseman is not in position, 
but luckily for him, the referee bails him out. Quick reaction to steal the loose puck even though he started behind, and he opens the play right after. With another opportunity on the power play, Bodzuk once again shows his incredible poise to keep his cool even in pressure situation. He anticipates the play quickly and gets into a dangerous position for a great scoring chance. His sounded positioning is one of the reasons why he's such a great goal scorer. The play seems to slow down when Bodzuk gets the puck on the power play, as he looks to control the action. Even when attempting a risky dig, he seems in full confidence. He's smooth and poised rather than dynamic and quick. In neutral zone action, Bolduc covers his defender with quick positioning and once the puck is recovered, he shows the awareness to get to the crease in a very calm manner. He's very mobile and can be all over the ice, yet he's really not playing with quickness. Here, Bolduc who came back down low reads the play quickly and hits smartly the forechecker to allow the puck to roll to his winger. A great IQ play. On the power play once again, Bolduc displays a good vision to see the passing lane open up. This is a few inches away from being a dangerous shot on reception. Bolduc has the funny habit of having his back turned to the action, which he could try to improve on, but he's still very focused on the play and will get into dangerous spots quickly. Thanks for watching everyone, we'll catch you in the next one.